everybody this is Ali from Vintage Page Designs and today we'll be making this six panel accordion book. It is um, all handmade paper but you um, certainly could use machine made paper. Just make sure that if you do your grain runs um, parallel to the spine of the book or parallel with all the, the accordion folds. This has six panels and then three single um, signatures sewn inside. Um, all from handmade paper but these um, you could also use several sheets of um, thinner maybe sketchbook paper and then the covers are two independent covers they're soft covers and they tie with um, some gray seam binding so I will gather the materials and we will start making our book alrighty so let's start making the base for our accordion book Let's say you have a large sheet of paper like this and it has a deckled edge. Um, you are going to need to give yourself a couple straight edges to work with. So I took off a strip um, from this long edge. I'm just going to put that to one side. Then I need to make another straight cut here. And I want to make sure that this right here is a, a right angle because um, when I come to do the scoring um, for the, the folds in the accordion book, if we don't have at least one 90 degree angle to start with, then everything else in the book is going to be off. So you want to take a little bit of time just to line everything up really carefully. Get yourself a metal ruler. This can be a plastic triangle. This doesn't need to be metal. I just kind of happen to like it because it's heavy. Um, but this here really needs to be metal. So I'm going to trim off this um, deckle edge here so that I have two nice cut edges. And then just drag down a couple times with your blade. Make sure you've got a nice new blade in there. And there we go. So this right here is a nice um, nice degree angle. I'm going to, in a moment, I'm going to cut a strip which is um, six inches high or about 153 millimeters um, for the base of my accordion book. I'm not so worried about this deckle edge here, I'll probably cut this off once I've done my scoring. So now I have my long strip of paper which is six inches high, about 153 millimeters and approximately 24 inches long um, and I'm just double checking that we have a good right angle there. Set that aside. So I like to make myself a jig. So this is sort of tip number two. Um, I like to make myself a jig rather than measuring with my ruler in four inch increments because each time I measure, if I make like a tiny mistake, they all add up and then the, the accordion doesn't fold properly. So I like to take the back of a, a pad of um, the watercolor paper or this Stonehenge paper. I need to take off the cardboard on the back because generally this here is a good um, right angle and this is fairly thick. I make myself a jig the width of the page. So I happen to like four by six pages for my accordions but you may like five by seven or want to go even larger or do a mini book. So this is four inches across and this, this again is a nice right angle. And I'm going to use that to score my pages. So for the very first one, I'm just going to measure it all up in the corner like this, just to make sure everything looks good. I've got a um, scoring tool, but you can use the tip of your bone folder. I'm going to score right there. I'm going to fold that. And I like to do it both ways. And then I like to have this side facing up. So this is the valley fold take my four inch jig and press it right into that fold and score a couple times smooth with my bone folder open it up and have this valley fold because I like to have this up so I can push that jig right into the corner and make sure I'm using the right end of the scoring tool Fold it. 
and you're just going to keep going until you get to the end. Now this is not a very large accordion book. Um, you could certainly add pieces together. have one more page right here now for this final page I have a little extra left here I am NOT going to take my knife and cut against this cardboard that's a bad idea what I'm going to do is butt this up against the edge and I could score, but I'm going to use a pencil, make a pencil mark. I'm going to get a ruler, a little ruler. And I'm just going to double check that that's nice and that final cut is also nice and square. So that if both ends are nice and square, hopefully our accordion will fold. Now you can see that edge is a little rough. I need to probably neaten that up a little bit. You can see we have a nice, neat accordion fold, and all these are lined up, and all these are lined up. So now it's time to add our signatures to our accordion book. So we have, um, you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six pages, and an even number of pages is good so that one cover will go here, one cover will go here. Then on the inside we have one, two, three valley folds and we're going to put signatures at each of these valley folds like this. Now we're doing single um, handmade paper for our signatures but you could use sketch paper or text weight paper and multiple, you could do three, four, five sheets of paper in here, um, particularly if you want to do some writing. But I'm just using thicker handmade paper, um, so I'm only going to use one. And it's going to give me like four more sides to add photographs to, which is kind of fun. Now, because each page is four inches across, you would think that the signature should be eight inches across, but I actually make it um, like seven and three quarters just to give myself a little bit of a margin on either side. And so 7 and 3 quarters is about 197 millimetres. Um, and you will make them the exact height of the book. Um, obviously if they're taller, they'll poke out the top. But if they're shorter, and when the book is standing up, um, it'll topple forward. Um, and, and these will be sort of suspended in the air. So you want the signatures to be the exact same height as your book, which is in this case six inches or about 153 millimeters so I've cut these to six inches high but 153 millimeters and seven and three quarters inches across which is about 197 now you could score this paper if it was thick but this white paper is fairly um, soft so I'm just gonna fold in half and smooth it with my bone folder And we're adding three signatures to the front of the book. One, two, three. But you could also add two to the back as well. So you could add a total of five. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. But for this book, I think just three is good. And I will go with the, um, I'll do the three white paper and leave the um, striped paper for another day. It's super simple to attach these. We're going to use a, um, a pamphlet stitch. You could do a three hole pamphlet stitch. Um, I think I'm going to do a five hole pamphlet stitch and I'm going to make myself um, a template which is six inches high, the same as the accordion strip and the um, signatures. So I have a piece of scrap paper here, which is six inches high. I'm going to fold in half, in half again, 
and I'm going to open it up and that's going to give me three folds. I'm going to fold it in half horizontally and this is going to give me the spots for my three stitches. So as I'm going to do a five hole pamphlet stitch I'm going to add an additional hole a half inch from the head and a half inch from the tail. That gives me my five holes and I'm going to mark the head, my template right here. I'm going to do a little dot at the top of my the head of my accordion book then on each of my three signatures I'm also going to just do a tiny dot to mark the head so that once I've punched the holes if they get kind of mixed up on my desk um, I'm going to know which way to orient them. So then you're going to take your punching cradle or um, a thick catalogue and take your signatures individually make sure that the head is up to the left make sure the head of the template is up to the left center it take a thin book binding awl and poke your holes gently through the spine um, as there's only one sheet of paper go gently you don't need to press very hard once you've done your three signatures or five if you um, want to do signatures on the front and back you're gonna take each valley fold of the inside of your accordion book make sure your dot is on the left for the head and do the same slide it into the center of the accordion strip and gently punch the holes this handmade paper is quite soft so I'm being pretty careful and then just shift it forward do the second one two three four five and shift it there. You could punch your signature and your cover at the same time. That's that's also an option. You don't necessarily have to do them individually. I just I just find it easier to do it that way. There you go. So next um, we're gonna sew our um, signatures onto the um, the accordion strip. So you want to gather some thread. This is a pre-waxed um, white linen thread. It's um, fairly thin. It's like a two-ply. Um, I'm just going to use like an arm's length for this rather than um, measuring it. If you wanted to measure it, you would for each signature you sewed, you'd do about two and a half times the height of the book. Um, but for this, I'm just going to do an arm's length. I'm going to pick a needle with... Um, a small eye, a book binding needle with a small eye and it's got a slightly blunted tip. Um, that's because this handmade paper is soft and um, the sharp needle can sometimes um, sort of catch the fibres. So I'm going to take my first signature, my head is to my left, my little dot, this one is to the left, and I would like my knot to appear on the back of the book. So I'm going to start on the back of the book, through the centre hole. You may have to go through the, the accordion strip and your signature separately. So wherever you want your knot to appear, that's where you start. So I'm starting on the back and I'll finish on the back and that's where my knot will be. If you want it to show on the front, obviously you start the other way around. Um, I'm starting at hole number three, so one, two, three, four, five. I'm going down to hole number four. I'm pulling firmly, but not too tightly, because the paper's soft and there's only one signature, so you do need to be gentle. I went back on the back, I went into hole number five, I'm going to go back down into hole number four, I'm just wiggling it slightly to Make sure I don't split the thread. And then on the back, I've come out hole number four, I'm skipping hole number three and I'm going up to hole number two. So, what I'm trying to avoid doing is making new holes, which is really easy to do when you're only sewing through a couple of sheets of paper. I've come out hole number two in the center, I'm going down hole number one. 
the back of the book, back through hole number two, at the centre of the book. I'm going to give everything a little tighten, then back down through the centre, through hole number three. Flip it over. Luckily, I've got one, um, the tail is on the right and the sewing thread is on the left. Um, if they both wind up on the same side, you just want to switch them around. And I'm going to turn it this way to tie my knot. Then I'm going to tie a square knot by taking the left thread over the right, pulling it under, and then the right thread over the left, tying it through. Trim. Oops. Trim my knot. I'm going to sort of flatten those ends against the side of the book and then fold, bone fold down. Because it's wax linen thread, that should sort of stay in place. Like that. Alrighty, so we have. Oops. Signature number one, you're going to repeat for the other two signatures, the valley folds where you have um, punched through the holes, and then we'll come back and um, add the covers to the book. Okay, so we've sewn our three signatures into the valley folds on the front of our accordion strip, um, and have bone folded down firmly, um, and you can tell they look really nice, everything's even, lined up, nothing kind of displays out the wrong way. And um, you can just see how these pages are just a hair, just an eighth of an inch, um, small in the accordion. And I kind of like the way that looks. Um, so let's create our covers. Now you could do um, a hard cover on these books. You could cover book board and then glue down these end pieces onto the hard cover. I quite like doing a soft cover with the handmade paper because it's fairly um, thick and once you... Um, back it with another piece of handmade paper it's fair it, it's fairly um, rigid so um, that's what I like to do but it's um, you know personal preference you want to make it um, just slightly bigger than your cover so our cover is six inches I'm gonna add on I've added on one eighth of an inch just to give me a little bit of um, extra at the top and then I take my jig and like the um, the accordion strip you want your cover to be uh, uh, square and 90 degrees. And I'm just going to double check that mine is. Yep, that looks good. You're going to line it up on your self healing cutting mat. And I take the jig that we used for the pages and I set it maybe a quarter of an inch from the left side. I score again. I like to give myself a torn edge and I just gently rub it with my fingers. I don't do it with a bone folder because I want a kind of fuzzy torn edge. So here's the book and the cover just comes over a tiny bit. Now if that comes over a little bit too much for you, just trim a little off this cut edge then there's just be a tiny bit at the top too. And then repeat, and do the same for the other cover. Now what I'm gonna do is neaten up this edge so that it's not torn. I don't want a torn edge there. Let me find my knife. I want a nice straight edge there. Let's do the same thing again. Put it on my grid, give myself about a quarter inch. Just rub with my fingers and tear. That gives me two covers with a nice sort of torn edge. Okay, so you have your two um, covers. Just kind of take a look and decide which you want to be on the front, which you want to be on the back. Kind of move them around a little bit. Um, and also if you want to do some kind of closure, I like to do ribbon, this piece of um, grey seam binding. 
So I'm going to do the back cover first, so I will set aside the front cover and um, a piece of handmade paper just sticking out there. Um, here's my back cover, that's the outside, this is the inside. I'm just going to get my piece of seam binding, roughly find the centre, so lay it in the centre of the book and I'm going to just um, hold it in place with a piece of double stick tape just so it doesn't wiggle around when I use the PVA. There you go. And just hold that in place. I'm going to use um, PVA glue because I love PVA glue. Um, I pretty much use it for everything. Um, I wouldn't use wheat paste if I were you because um, it's really not strong enough on this handmade paper. And we're going to set aside this cover and we're going to put the glue on the back side of the accordion book. So put a waste sheet to protect the last page. Grab your PVA and do in a star shape from the center to the outside. Going in one direction over here. We need to get rid of. There we go. Centre out in one direction. You know, you can tack down that little piece of linen thread there. By going from the centre out, you're making sure you don't get um, glue sort of seeping around the edges. If you're nervous that the PVA will dry too quick and you won't have time to um, move it around, you can always add a little bit of um, methyl cellulose to it. So remove this and set it to one side because it has glue all over it. Get your back cover, lay it down, sort of move the ribbon out of the way so that um, it doesn't get caught up. Now you want this lower edge to be flush with um, the lower edge of the cover. Remember there's a little gap, we want that gap at the top, not at the bottom. We want it flush against this cut edge here, not against the um, torn edge. So it goes right in that left corner. And you have a gap here and a gap here. Grab your bone folder. And rub really, really firmly. And just double check on the front that everything is lined up. There we go. You have time to adjust it a little bit. There we go. There we go. So there's your back cover. We're going to do the same with the front cover. I'm going to get a waist sheet inside there, get those ribbons out of the way, grab some more PVA from the centre to the edges, a star shape. I've known people use double stick tape, like quite wide double stick tape or thinner pieces but several strips to attach these covers as well. I just I'm a fan of PVA. Center to the edges. Grab that piece of linen thread. Set the glue to one side. Whip this out of the way. Get rid of it. Carefully lift this up. Moving the ribbons to one side. This is my front. This is my back. I'm gonna line up this right hand. Oops, edge and corner. There we go. Just check on the front too. That looks good. Get that bone folder in there. Let me give it a really good rub. Sort of bang it down on the table because you want this edge all to be flush so that when we stand it up on a table or bookshelf to display it um, it doesn't fall forward it stands up nice and straight so this will need to dry um, several hours or overnight 
So you can put um, clean paper in here just to absorb the moisture from the glue and make sure it doesn't go down into the um, pages beneath. And then wrap this in wax paper and put it under some weights um, for several hours or overnight until it is dry. Okay, so um, our book has dried. Um, it's been several hours. Um, the book has dried and um, it's now free for you to add pictures. Um, this holds quite a lot of pictures. There's six panels um, plus four on either side of um, these signatures. So these um, signatures. So it will hold quite a lot of photos. Um, and I want to show you um, a couple others that I've made in the past. This is a larger version. I didn't tie it with ribbon. Um, I used a belly band uh, with some um, just torn fabric. And this one, slightly larger, but again, I just sewed. Well, actually, with this one, it was longer, so I sewed in four. Um, these pink handmade paper signatures, just kind of fun. Um, but if you don't like the soft cover, you can always do hard cover. So this doesn't have signatures, this accordion book, but um, it does have a pocket at the end. Um, and you just affix, I just affixed hard covers um, to this. But you could certainly sew in signatures on either side um, and also do a ribbon closure or a belly band. So whichever you would like. So um, hopefully that has given you some ideas on how to make... Um, accordion books with signatures. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below or email me at Ali, Man at Ali Vintage Page Designs .com or um, you can leave a comment in the Facebook group. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.